As the film begins, an interview with a young woman named Sana is shown. Sana's sister was everyone's favorite in a game, but she disappeared a year ago. After it, the agency chose Sana to replace her sister, and since then, Sana is trying hard to become everyone's favorite. He next day, she awakens on an island near the sea and we see nearly 20 other girls waking up like Sana. None of them know how and when they reach here. Those girls also work for the agency like Sana and here she meets her friend named Arena. Now they recognize the girls who were their colleagues as their leader and there was a metal collar on everyone's neck. Meanwhile, a boy arrives with his guards and tells them they are chosen for the Cinderella game of this year and says you all are included in it and you have to participate in this game. I am the host of this game. There are many hidden cards here on this island and you have to start finding those cards from 7 a.m. And as it strikes 7 in the evening, you have to reach a club that is a place to play game. There will be a card game between you and the one. The one who will lose the game will be out of this game. There are mobile phones in your bags and there is card location in them so that you can easily find cards. The one who will be in this game till the end will be the favorite of this country. After it, she will be rewarded and will get many albums to work in the films or ads. A girl says I am not interested in this useless game and was leaving. Seeing her leaving a guard touches a button on his tab. Right after it, the metal collar that was on her neck starts making a voice and suddenly she dies. Showing them this, the game host says there is a poisonous injection in your collars that will be inserted in the human after we press the button and it will cause death. So don't think of escaping from here and discovering this, the girls get scared and understand they are trapped in this life-taking game. They also discover that their agency has sent them here in return for a huge amount. After it, the game host tells them the rules of the game and says you will get three kinds of cards on this island. One is named Prince, second is Stepmother, and the third is Witch. There is a triangle game between them. The Prince defeats Stepmother, and Stepmother defeats the Witch, and Witch defeats the Prince. As they will move near the cards, they will discover them. In the evening at the game club, two people will come in front. They will place their cards in front, and the one who will have the right card from Prince stepmother and witch will win the player in front of her who lost the game will be ended except for this you have three optional cards means you can choose anyone as you want and the points in their phones will increase according to the time they spend on the island with the help of those points they can buy those option cards sana takes out the mobile and sees she has just two points then the game host tells the last rule that none will fight with each other and will not try to get cards from others forcefully. Otherwise, she will be out of the game while being dead and then she starts the Cinderella game while firing a bullet. After it, all the girls run inside the island to find out the cards. Moving further, Sana finds a card but she gives it to Irina while asking her to keep it. Then she sees a girl running behind another girl and feels they are fighting. She also runs behind them to help them and the girl finally caught the girl and tries to snatch the cards from her. Meanwhile, the collar of the girl starts ringing and she dies on the spot. The game host declares her death and again tells them not to fight with each other. After it, Sana moves forward with that girl. There was a notification on Sana's phone that the card is near and Sana picks up the card. She gives her the card to keep it and it was striking 7 in the evening so Sana asks the girl to go to the game location. But the girl asks Sana how many cards she found. Sana shows her cards taking out of her bag and those were two. Here, that girl runs while snatching her cards and she understands that she took benefit of her best. And she is a deceiver. The girl who died before actually was running behind this clever girl to get her cards back because she has snatched her cards and she says now I have five cards and I will win this game and runs from there. Sana has no cards so she will be out of the game because of it. She becomes disappointed but then she remembers the option cards that she can buy with points. She checks her phone and there were more than 1000 points she had. It was a surprising thing but she only can buy pumpkin cards with them because the other two were expensive. Arena says you can take a few cards from me if you want to but Sana refused and buys six pumpkin cards with her points. As seven strikes the match starts in the game area where the game host calls two girls in front of each other. They place their cards and the wise girl wins in the first half. The other girl who lost the game her collar rings and she dies. The guards take the winning girl to show her room but while leaving the girl takes the leftover card from the dead girl. The clever girl who snatched Sana's cards and Sana were in front in the next match. 
The clever girl believes she will win the game because Sana has no cards, but then Sana was given six cards she bought. As they place their cards, the game host starts telling them about the option cards. If there will be a normal card in front of the pumpkin card which Sana has, the game will be stopped. The other card, Midnight card, can defeat the pumpkin card. The last optional card is Glass card that is so expensive. After it, they play their next move now because Sana has bought all pumpkin cards so she ends all the matches. In the end, the clever girl has become short of her five cards due to which she loses this game and weeps a lot. But except for this, her collar rings and she was also ended. Even she didn't do good to Sana but she feels sad on her death. After it, Sana was also dropped in that room. Sana's friend Arena also wins this game from a girl. And she comes to the nearby room of Sana and they were talking while placing their ears with the wall. Arena says we should work like a team. We will find cards on this island separately and we'll divide them in evening. At night, Sana sees her sister running on this island in her dream. The next morning, the second day of the game starts. There were only nine girls left alive. They move inside the island as it was seven to find out cards. Sana and a girl see a card together but Sana hurriedly gets it while running. But in all this she was about to fall in a ditch and the other girl obeys her while holding her hand. She gets the card from Sana in return of helping her. Sana find another card when she moves further. She finds cameras everywhere and moving further she finds an unconscious girl in a place. Her eye was damaged. She moves near her and sees her water bottle empty so Sana gives her water from her bottle. After having water, she says I will not thank you and stop act to being good to others. You will get nothing from this. You are mad that you are doing this. Arena moves to a cave while finding the cards. A girl here attacks her with a wooden stick and says there is no camera and I will get all of your cards while ending you. None will discover because I can cross all limits to win the game. After it, she attacks Arena and makes her fall down. She was about to end her but her collar rings and she dies. The game host declares her death and says there are no cameras at few places but we are spying every corner of this island. As she dies Arena moves forward while taking out cards from her bag. Now they all reach the game area in the evening. Sana had midnight cards except for pumpkin cards. There was Arena's match at first with another girl. And when she was leaving Sana gives her all her cards. Arena says if I would die while losing the game so take all your cards back hurriedly. The first match was ended because Arena had a pumpkin card. After it, the front girl moves midnight card in the next match and Arena places which card and the game host says you lost the game because midnight card can only defeat the pumpkin card not others. Later, the girl was also ended and Arena gives Sana all of her cards while pretending to hugging her. Then Sana and the girl who saved her come in front. The girl plays a trick and tells something else and places other card. Seeing it, Sana stops this match while placing pumpkin card. It goes on for a while but in the end, the girl had a pumpkin card. She places in front and at the same time Sana places her midnight card that she bought. The midnight card defeats the pumpkin card so that girl loses this game and was also ended. Sana wins the game. Moving to their rooms Arena tells Sana that she has seen almost 10 cards on the island. Tomorrow we will go to that place to take cards together. Sana was worried and says to Arena that I am worried there will be a time when we will be in front of each other. Arena says while smelling I will be happy if anyone from us will escape from here alive. Sana again sees her sister in her dream who was hanged. Now it was the third day of the game and only four girls were left alive. And according to the plan Arena and Sana moved to the place of ten cards. The girl with blind of one eye was also chasing them and they see while reaching there are more than ten cards. Only ten of them were real and others were fake and they start finding the real cards from them. The girl chasing them starts picking up all the cards due to which the fight starts between her and Arena. During this, the bandage of her eye falls but Arena picks it up and starts making fun of her. And the girl runs behind Arena to take her bandage and makes her fall down. Arena who was clever starts acting like she is weeping and she has trapped that girl here that she has injured her. Due to it, the girl's collar starts ringing and she dies without any reason. After it, Arena stands up and says to Sana I know you are nice but now don't give me lecture to be nice because you are mad, coward and nothing happens just to sit without doing anything. After it, she says to Sana while giving her cards that now we should get separated meanwhile. The third survivor girl arrives. She becomes insane because of all those circumstances and she runs to the mountain while snatching Arena's cards. She throws all the cards into the sea and while weeping her foot slips but Sana saves her while holding her hand. 
Arena comes to help them and holds Sana so that she will not fall, but then she gets an idea that she has a good chance. Let me push those two girls and after it, I will win this game. Thinking this, she leaves Sana and they fall in the sea. In the evening, we see Sana alive. She comes out of the sea along with that girl. She tells her a few good things and dies while thanking her. Sana goes to the game area being furious where Arena hugs her and sees Arena's collar is already ringing. Arena apologizes to her while dying and confessing that she have ended her sister and haven't done good to her. And after it, Arena dies. Only Sana was left in this game and asked why you end Arena without playing match. The game host says she won last year and she defeated your sister in the final match. I got this order from the chairman not let Arena win this game. She is so clever and the spectators are irritated from her. Moreover, he tells the Cinderella game and the match is shown and it is a show that is recorded with the help of the cameras. People used to watch this show while paying and the money is changed into points as per the player's qualities. As Sana was trying to help Irion from the beginning due to hit she becomes favorite of the people watching show. This is the reason her points were increasing rapidly. Later, the host gets an order from the chairman that Sana has to play a last game. The final game but Sana says none is left alive with whom I will play the last game. Then immediately, Sana's sister comes out from a place who is still alive. She lost the last game last year but wasn't ended and now is getting another chance to become everyone's favorite. For this, she has to play the game with her sister and she goes to play game while taking all cards from Sana. Because she was a selfish girl and doesn't want her sister to become everyone's favorite while winning this game. She has become blind and so careless to get fame that she doesn't even care about the relationship with the front person. Later, the sisters were placed in front of each other for the last match. Sana has bought an option card before coming here but what was it is? We are not shown. She was given the card. Sana's sister plays a card from her cards and says my lovely sister lose this game intentionally so that the dream of your elder sister will come true to be everyone's favorite. Sana moves her single option card, and this was glass card and seeing it, the host says Sana's card has win because glass card is expensive and special. It can defeat all cards and a person needs 30,000 points to buy it none has earned those points in this game till today. And this happened for the first time that someone has bought that card means Sana, the public is with her, supporting her. And there is just one reason her goodness. Sana's sister runs from there while weeping and dies. Sana also leaves but the game host comes to her and says you are the winner of Cinderella game this year. Saying this, he gives her an award as reward. Sana starts weeping taking the award and moves into the water. The game host comes behind her and asks how is she feeling after winning the game. You have become everyone's favorite and your millions of fans are watching you. Have a look at them. Sana sees into the camera and smiles just for her fans but she was sad deep inside. This game teaches us that we should prioritize others over ourselves, even if we are in serious trouble. Because if we are nice and have a pure heart for others, good will come to us. The luck will be with us if we move forward like Sana, who has always done good to others. In the end, it turned out well for her, and she received a reward. While those who are unkind to others bad things happen to them, we should always be positive. Think positively and do good for others. This story ends here with this message.